Hello, this is <clears throat> my goth house remodel from Willow Creek. The original was black and really dull looking, so I tried to make it very lavish. So I like the how the evening light is lighting the walls. How nice, and I like this grayish color. And I put some trees to cover, get some privacy here, and then we go inside. And all I did was just colors and some new elements found in the game, new objects. I changed the coloring a lot more lighter and added TV, of course, and I put the piano downstairs and some minor changes. I really love that house originally, but the color scheme is horrible. And I put my own custom floor here, marble floor, and there is a dining room. Really nice blue color and also nice church windows, which add some touch, I think. And then we go to the kitchen. I love the light here. Oh, again, it is very cozy but really old fashioned. I didn't modernize it at all. Hmm. This looks lavish and still gothic enough, I think, that you could actually live here. It's not a very practical house. But I play with this my sims right now. Then we go upstairs, which there is of course organ, like some gothic like, gothic sims like, and I love this color in the hallway. And the bathroom, I like those turquoise turquoise curtain curtains. Okay. <clears throat> And the master bedroom, again, more grayish or bluish theme here. Uh, up, upstairs is more grim, I think, than downstairs. I didn't make it so homey. And there's this room I didn't refurnish at all, except the wallpaper. Because it was just fine, perhaps, for teenager. And then there was the uh, same bathroom again. Then we go upstairs and there's a little boy's room here. I put some nice, oh my god, roof is clipping. But I put some nice furniture here and custom mat carpet here. And here it is, we are on the roof. Sun is shining really nicely here. And I think this is much more like castle. I also changed the roof a bit, it was really dull. And uh, it is uh, unfinished pool, I could have added more rocks to cover the borders, but I got lazy. So this was it. I really like it. I also made a vampire version. I'm gonna show the next to the Forgotten Hollow. Next I will show my vampire version. It is in Forgotten Hollow with a little bit bigger yard but still very cramped. I have trees growing there and I like how the lighting is much more dark here. By default, the yard is much more thicker, I think, and then I added a cellar, of course, because all vampires need a cellar. Otherwise, it's still the same. Upstairs is another bedroom, little bedroom, but I found it really non-functional solution to have three three layers here and then basement next i will show the basement 
a year I added made it really light and added a library there because I didn't have decent study room here and put some creepy decor here but still very homey and here's uh, my treasure trophy case or whatever for archaeology study and then the wine cellar next pretty basic but every house should have a nice wine cellar and there's mother dendril here and then there's a secret door of course there is a vampire hideout and coffin which is really nice so that was my basement for this mansion. It's, it's really suitable for vampire. I love how lavish this looks, this cellar. Then we go back upstairs. So that was it.